minimum number of cyber infrastructure architecture. Our today's topic will be second part of the R workshop. Before we start with that, just a reminder, uh, NMSU or we have a supercomputer discovery. So all the NMSU students, faculty and professors can use uh, that research is completely for free. Also, we can help you with some other things, software and programming, but more information about us, you can find on our webpage, hbc.nmsu.edu, where you can find more information about what you can find. Okay, our first workshop uh, gave you a lot of lots of information about command. Today we will review some of that command, but today we will mostly work with data sets, how to manipulate with them, how to filter them, uh, how to uh, create plot, how to finalize your, your work. interface of R. R is really friendly software. Uh, so we have basically four windows. Uh, upper left is editor, uh, where you will work on your code if the code is longer or more demanding. For purposes of our workshop, we usually, usually work on the console uh, because we're working with really simple examples. Also, upper right part, we can see history and uh, connections, environment. Uh, on lower right part, you can see graph that we will design. Like I said, R is really friendly software, so you can always easily can find help uh, or clicking on a help button actual software or for example uh, we want to know something so question mark question mark what is C so then we will get some information about what we can do with that arguments some details and also examples So basically, you need to try and go through it. If you see an error, it's not the end of the world. Software is really friendly and it will help you just if you look around. Also, Google is always will help. So some basic commands you have to use in this first part uh, uh, will give you certain information about that data set. Uh, for example, uh, dimension of the data set, structure of the data set, head and tail of the data set, names in the data set, attributes of the data set. So you can easily can apply this command on certain data sets. Uh, so like in the first part, we want, for example, Yes, this data set. So we will use that data set also. So if we want to see a uh, dimension of that data set, we will just type And we will get the number 32 by 11. Okay, like this, you can try to apply all other command, commands. When you're working on your uh, on your project, projects will 
vision to you longer. So uh, keep it simple, keep it clean, your working place clean. Uh, you always know what is what. So you have three rules, kind of. So uh, don't just give names for you. I will try to be more in doing the thing that you can arrange what is what, that you can uh, find where you are in your own work, especially the longest script. Anytime you can if you want to make it clean, uh, come to the bell, you clean your work space. So, basically, how to uh, implement your data depending, uh, depending on where you want to upload your data, but basically. For this workshop, we will use just a free range data set. So, data set, country cards. Okay. Let's practice. Uh You load your data set. So, see head structure and summary of that. How do we get that? Pretty easy. We do this. So this is the head of our data set. That will give us just a couple of first rows so that we can see what is that. It's more informative for us. Uh, structure, structure on the data set a little bit more data. Summary. Depending which data you need, you will use a uh, certain data. Index. Index means basically locating. Uh, Various ones. You will always use uh, this type of bracket when you need it. Uh, if we want to pull certain data, uh, we will use it for the repeated data. For example, practice two. If the value to get the horsepower or malta. RX4 back located in the second row four column. So, how we will put that? Very easy. So, value we want to see and assign value means something that we want to see. Assign the Attributes from entry card, second row, fourth column. Yeah. 
the range from some data set, of course. So we want another value that will be from empty card. So we are also going to print that if we can see it. Have a range that we ask for. Subsets. What are the subsets? Subsets are certain parts of certain sets, like in the map. Subset never can be bigger than a set. Create the subset using the subset command. So we want to create a subset uh, like that. This is a logical command. In that subset, we want all elements that have this part smaller than that. And number of so, sorry, bigger than that. And number of cylinders smaller than that. So we want to create a subset from the data of empty cards. Also, I don't see it. Create some data. We want to create we want to plot histogram, but first we need to create some data. So The value of age randomize one uh, mean to be some high standard deviation path. So So now we want to make histogram. So command histogram from this data. Now the plot. This is our plot. Also, to create more data, create J. This is 
And now we can use command C5. Now we use that command, then we have a uh, different data set and we want to combine them in one. So we create a uh, data set H and J. But in this next part, we want them together. So So our new set will remain bind and it will be combined from the bar. We can also So this is our data set. And now let's create frame H and J. Next, box block. How to make a box? And the box block. So R is really kind of forward. So we create the box block. A lot box block. So in this box block. We can find uh, more data. This line representing median value. So, and our data set. This would be a range. And outliners will be shown with the empty circle. So we want we can customize and change colors and other things. And we'll practice for we hit box plot off certain time. So how to do it? If you want to customize it, you can you can change the name, you can change the colors. So this is how you can customize. If you want to add name. So four, six, eight, not good enough because we want more information. So that will be four cylinders, six cylinders, eight cylinders. Also, we want to make it a color. And this command. We change the name. And Can customize a little bit more. For example, we want to show more of the things out there in search. So we can write like this. Now we have a name of our box plot, also different color with better design. We put our uh, Y, 
more. Sometimes we want to present more parts, for example, uh, this would be an app. So, we try to the front. How to create now no more editor because that should be uh, we want to create three blocks. So that will be our first command. Okay. So what will be our first block? We want Okay, now what Okay, so that's what we want. Select that and run that. So now we have plotted three 